there's no reform that you justify by ending bus service for kids in this manner, sort of using them as pawns in a larger struggle. Uh, it's been two weeks, and there's no particular end in sight. There's, there's no message from the mayor that says, don't worry, this will all be over in a week. We don't know if it's going to be over before June. So we're saying, you want to talk about reform? Great. You want to talk about cost savings? Great. Bring all the parties to the table, and let's start that conversation and see if we can find a new way forward. But the buses have to roll. In the meantime, our kids need to get to school. The bottom line is there is a clear difference of opinion on legalities here. I and a lot of others believe there was a different way to approach this than offering the bid the way the mayor did that clearly was meant to take out the role of the union. You know, for a lot of people to look at a history over decades of this being an area where there was a unionized workforce and suddenly the mayor in his 12th year says that it can't go on like that anymore, it's suspect. Uh, I think there was a chance here for the mayor to say, I want a series of reforms, as he's done in some other areas, some of which I agree with. Uh, but let's approach the reform question holistically, not by suddenly union busting. And again, this is why we're so upset. This is a crisis for these children. Their lives are being disrupted. But what you hear from this building is business as usual. Like, like it isn't affecting on the ground thousands of children in a really grievous manner. Now, I think the mayor is a bit in the ivory tower here. He, he has a vision of change and reform, and he's not particularly concerned about the consequences on the way to his reform. Well, for all of us, we understand the human consequences for these children. This can't go on like this. It just can't continue because parents can't figure out that how to address the needs of their kids educationally if they can't get them to school. You can't do it yourself at home. And they aren't, I think we can say every parent here has not been given an answer. When will this end? How are kids' needs going to be met? Is there going to be any alternative in the meantime? We haven't gotten answers. And it's time to demand of the mayor that he answer the needs of these parents and these children.